I'm Richard Crowley, a realtor with Area Properties Real Estate River Region, and today I'm here with Mr. Uh, Chris Horrell of Bun Zero. How you doing, Chris? Hey, good, Richard. Thank hey, you. Yeah, great. Yeah, right. thanks for sitting down with me and, again, just trying to uh, help promote local businesses, and I wanted to come in and talk to you about Bud Zero. Yeah. So, a little bit, how, how'd you get started with Bud Zero, and uh, a little bit about, about your background, and, and who is Chris? Yeah. Uh, as far as Bug Zero, my uncle Ivan F. Tank started the company in Springfield in 1990, and then myself and him opened the office here together in the end of 2009. And okay. I, run, I own this office now, and so I've been in the business about 13 years. Uh, I grew up in the area, I'm from the uh, Leopold area, uh, south, you know, about a half hour from the Cape. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that's where I grew up at. Grew up on a farm. Farm, I, I did as well, and you yeah. have all kind of critters going around, right? Yeah, and some of those critters you really don't want in your yeah. in your house or in your barns or whatever. So, uh, so the, so from the name, you yeah. you want to eliminate the bugs, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. so what what areas do you practice in? I mean, residential, commercial. I mean, what 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 services do you provide? Yeah, we're, we do both residential and commercial services. So we service obviously homes to uh, apartments. Uh, in the commercial wise, you know, anything from a hospital to an office building to a restaurant, daycare, manufacturing, kind of pretty much anything in between. Uh, we can do kind of services for those. And our focus is always on obviously getting rid of any existing issues, but now on prevention is the focus to uh, prevent any future issues too. So, what, what areas do you serve? I mean, you just in Cape Drago, or I'm assuming you kind of branch out a bit, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, we're centered here in Cape, but then our service area, we go as north as far as St. Genevieve and then like to Farmington, and then back down south to Portageville area, and then Dexter, Poplar Bluff, Fredericktown, so anything in that footprint, Charleston, East Prairie. Right. Uh, so about an hour 20 from Cape, about our, kind of our service level we're covering, and we're Missouri only, but we're in, we cover anywhere in that footprint. Yeah, well, that's, it's a pretty big area. Yeah, it is. Pretty yeah, big area, because you have your guys and gals on the road quite a bit then. Huh? Yeah. Or do you have satellite offices in some areas where they drive out of Cape? We're all we're all here centered. Uh, okay. Our guys, you know, they can start their days from their homes. Uh, tell me a little bit about your team. Uh, I think that's one of our strengths. I mean, obviously, I, we have a quality of employees from our staff and office staff here, and then to our technicians in the field. Uh, you, you, you know, all the programs you want, but you have to have quality people for sure. And I'm uh, really proud of our team. We have a great team from both sides. I always say both sides of the fence at some level. The service scheduling and billing side, the efficiencies there we have. Plus our, our team in the field, uh, the guys take pride in doing a good job. And that's one of the proudest things we do. We want to focus on being the best quality of service. And I'm guessing some of your folks have uh, several years experience doing this, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, our lead tech, Derek's been with us over seven years. And then our, our office manager, Lexi, is coming up on five years, or pl uh, almost six years coming the first of the year. So having the stability of our team is a big key for us. And just helps them, obviously, always looking to build on their skill sets. Uh, we just like I said, we have a good quality group, and we just kind of keep working to keep improving on and all of our sides, myself included, just sure. trying to improve our knowledge and be able to provide a better service. I'm just kind of curious, I have to ask, but you're, yeah, you, you, yeah you're, you tackle pretty much any kind of bug, right? Yeah, we, pretty much anything insect related. Uh, we don't do nuisance wildlife. That'd be one thing we don't really do much of. We do anything a mouse, you know, rat, but any insect, you know, termite, spiders, uh, uh, bed bugs, even. Okay. Mosquitoes, ticks, you know, anything in that range. A lot of ants is a big one for us. Uh, spiders, obviously, too. So you have any new things coming on? I mean, what's what's the future of Bug Zero look in your eyes? Uh, we're just always trying to make it, you know, convenient for our clients to, you know, communicate with. We start doing, we also we offer our clients to be able to text us or call. So texting is something we offer to all our clients. It's more convenient a lot of times they're busy. And then we're working on incorporating some more stuff on our website. We're making the like signing up process a little more uh, interactive, where you can do that, you know, pretty much any time of the day, and go through this through a flow to just sign up without having to necessarily have to call the office or anything to make it more convenient for our clients. Yeah, no, that's awesome because you know everything's on the internet nowadays, right? Absolutely. And yeah. uh, one thing I always like asking people when I go out and talk to them is about local. I mean, in your mind. Why should someone use a local service like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, instead of going to some big pest control mm -hmm. company that's uh, elsewhere? I, one is obviously we live in the community, so obviously we, we, we try to get we do the same thing. We, we utilize local companies as well, or 
our team lives here and they spend their money here and they go to the schools here exactly. and the money stays here when you invest in a, when you hire a company local that money stays here locally and we're knowledgeable of the area you know we live here exactly. and it helps you to, it, every part of the country is not the same so southeast I, missouri has its own uniqueness too yes i, I can see that i mean it's it's all about to me helping local businesses support each other mm-hmm. uh, as you said keeping the money in the economy uh, using someone that's familiar with the area and the type of pests that people may be encountering uh, and you you probably able to help them a lot quicker than than yeah. some uh, big company out of St. Louis yeah, or you, whatever. Uh, you call our office or text, you're talking to a person here in the Cape office. You have a live person answering the phone or a person responding to text messages. So prompt prompt support, we get to, for most of all our clients, we get to them in one to three days maximum. Right. Uh, so we want to take uh, customer service, you know, to top priority for us and get to them in a timely manner. That's important too. Yeah. So speaking of the, you know, people can call you. I mean, how's the best way someone needs your service or wants to learn more? How's the best way for them to contact you? Yeah, our, our office number is, uh, you know, 573-803-7828. And you can call or text that number either way. Uh, we have a website, bugthrill.com, uh, the Facebook page as well. I have information on, on all those avenues or at, ways you can reach out to us. You can, on our website, you can click a button to text the chat as well. So yeah. we're trying to make it, you know, convenient. So if you're in the middle of the day and you got a few minutes and you want to send a couple messages and get the process started, all times a lot of clients reach out and we can email them information as well. So right. we try to get get to people whatever works best for them because everybody's will, you know, everyone likes their information differently. Yeah. Well, for you out there, uh, you know, if you have any issues with pests, uh, give Chris and his team a call. They'll be uh, very quick to react and come uh, take care of your issues. And uh, if you'd like to be featured on this website with your business, reach out to me and uh, we'll make that happen. So nice to meet you, Chris. Hey, thanks, and, uh, We'll talk to you later.